Prince Harry made a gesture in a recent interview that indicates he feels he is superior to Prince William, a body language expert has claimed. Adrian Carter watched an interview with the Duke of Sussex did with Anderson Cooper for CBS 60 Minutes earlier this month. The host had said, you write about a contentious meeting you had with him, Prince William, in 2021. You said I looked at Willie, really looked at him, maybe since the first time since we were boys, I took it all in, his familiar scowl which had always been his default in dealings with me, his alarming baldness more advanced than my own. Ms Carter watched this clip and claimed, so we see a really telling clue from Harry's facial expression when he talks about William's baldness, we see the one-sided half-smile. That means I feel superior, I'm better than. He is quite proud of the fact he isn't as advanced bald as his brother. The event's body language experts spot moment a completely besotted Harry cringes at Meghan 12 27 Camilla's dignified silence admired by Americans as Sussex's popularity plunges 10 53 Prince Harry and royal family could be set for temporary peace ahead of coronation 10 15 stripping Meghan and Harry's title seen as aggressive move in war with royal family 08 39 Sussex brand getting lost as Harry warned over future after going too far with book 08 colon 04 10 minutes ago and 14 colon 24 Paul Withers poll, should Queen Camilla be allowed to drop consort from her title? King Charles III's wife Queen Consort Camilla could see her title change this year to drop the word consort. Buckingham Palace officials hope to make the change before the, the coronation of the King at Westminster Abbey on May 9 to bring her name in line with previous spouses of the sovereigns. But do you think this is the right move? Vote in our poll. Read the full story here one hour ago 13 colon 23 Paul Withers Charles headache with Harry wouldn't have escalated if key figure was in royal fold Sir Christopher Guide is not a household name for most. For royal author Andrew Loney, however, it is a name that bears significant weight. That is because, for him, he is the man who may well have saved King Charles III from the public embarrassment that has hit the royal family in light of the Prince Harry and Meghan Markle scandal. Having worked as the late Queen Elizabeth II's private secretary for a decade, the Baron and House of Lords member, Lord Guite stood down from his position in 2017. Mr Loney, who penned the 2021 book Trader King, the scandalous exile of the Duke and Duchess of Windsor, believes that were he not allegedly forced from his role, Lord Guide may well have been the ideal person to help smooth over the currently frosty relationship between Charles and Harry. Read the full story here 2 hours ago 12 27 Paul Withers body language experts spot moment a completely besotted Harry cringes at Meghan Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's body language from their recent Netflix documentary series has been analyzed by two different experts. One mentioned the couple's relationship dynamic, and how besotted Harry is with Meghan, but this soon turns to embarrassment when his wife demonstrates how she curtsied to Queen Elizabeth II. Body language expert Louise Marla joined spoke to the morning show in Australia where she was asked about the couple's body language when they were being interviewed together. The expert said she saw a man completely besotted by her, Meghan, and noted he was madly in love. Ms Marla also claimed Meghan runs the whole show, citing the couple's early relationship when Harry was late for the first date, but Meghan was late for the second date. The Duchess of Sussex argued she had to freshen up and change her clothes. Read the full story here 4 hours ago 10 53 Paul Withers Camilla's dignified silence admired by Americans as Sussex's popularity plunges Camilla, 
queen consort has been praised by a royal expert for maintaining a dignified silence in the wake of Prince Harry's bombshell claims in his memoir. King Charles Ives' wife has won plaudits over recent week, but the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have seen their popularity plunge in the US, where the couple now live. Harry made a host of accusations against the Queen consort in his book, Spare, including that she converted his bedroom into a dressing room as soon as the Duke moved out of Clarence House. Asked what people in the US admire about the Queen consort, Los Angeles-based royal commentator Kinsey Schofield told Express. Co.uk, Camilla's dignified silence seems to be a quality Americans admire. Of course, how are you supposed to respond to a nearly 40-year-old man complaining about you turning one of their multiple bedrooms into a closet? Read the full story here 4 hours ago 10 colon 15 Paul Withers Prince Harry and royal family could be set for temporary peace ahead of coronation Prince Harry could be set for a temporary peace with the royal family before the coronation of his father, King Charles III, later this year. Royal commentator Jonathan Sassardotti said the royals will want to make peace with the Duke of Sussex before the king is crowned on May 6. He said, whether or not that's possible is one thing and whether or not it's lasting is another thing. Even if they do manage to make some form of peace, it might be temporary. I think it's going to be extremely difficult for them as a family, and more broadly, for the nation and for the institution, to forgive what's happened. Read the full story here 6 hours ago 08 39 Paul Withers stripping Meghan and Harry's titles seen as aggressive move in war with royal family Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are likely to keep their titles as the royal family tries to calm the war with the Sussexes, a royal commentator has claimed Jonathan Sassardotti warned over stripping the Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles from the couple as it could be spun as aggressive by the Sussexes. He said, the sense that I get is that this is not something they want to do. I think in this war between Harry and Meghan and the rest of the royal family, there, the firm, trying to calm things not trying to throw more grenades in. Such a move could even spur the Meghan and Harry to write a spare tour to release another Netflix series, according to Mr. Sassardotti, who added the working royals just want to get on with the job. Read the full story here 7 hours ago 08 04 Paul Withers Sussex brand getting lost as Harry warned over future after going too far with book Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have been sent a huge warning for the future after the Duke went too far with his criticisms of the royal family in his memoir, Spare. The couple have spent a lot of time building awareness for Archul. The group includes the couple's non-profit charitable arm, the Archuil Foundation, as well as lucrative for-profit business divisions focusing on media production, Archuil Audio and Archuil Productions. But bombshell claims against the royal family, both in the couple's recent Netflix documentary series and Harry's new book, has left one marketing expert confused over their brand strategy and has warned about the problems it poses in the future. Pauline McLaren, professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway University of London, told Express. Co.uk, Harry has gone too far with his criticisms of the royal family. He is certainly not going the right away about this. What is getting lost in all of this is the Sussex brand. What is the Sussex brand? Read the full story here.